All right, hello, hello, hello. It's me, Smashing Bob, and welcome to a video, the first of Sentinel League. So, many people ask me how I make my money, how do I get all the exalts drop, you know, every few maps. Uh, and what I usually play, pretty much every league is low tiers, right? I play white maps. I play tier one to five star of league. That's what I play. I'm not, I don't enjoy bossing. Uh, I enjoy certain builds that are pretty much always off meta, so they're not as strong as other builds. Um, so I don't usually end up in red maps. Initially, I usually can kind of clear them just to get the bonus, but that's a very grueling affair, very slow affair, right? And I usually don't even clear all of them, maybe just some of them, right? To get like a hundred skill points, right? And maybe a few favorite map slots. The favorite map slots would be the most important. Right, and if you can't really do the bosses, just uh, get a you know carry, you know, just to get a few favorite slots, right? So let's go kind of in detail what you want to know about uh, farming low tier maps. So farming uh, white tier maps, uh, your major profit uh, will be uh, selling off the maps. Right. As you can see, I don't have a lot of uh, white tier maps, and I spent almost two weeks farming them. Um, and that's because I sold them all, right? Th these are mostly new additions, right? Um, now, pretty much all, every single white tier map will be worth one chaos, right? Uh, and uh, often you'll be visited by cleaners that will clean out your entire white tier stash um, for one chaos each. Uh, but then also some of the layouts. Uh, for instance, Cemetery this league, you could easily sell for 4 chaos each, or even uh, 5 chaos. And how you want to price this is like this, you write 40 slash 10, oops, it's 40 slash 10. Uh, so when you write it like this, you will not appear in single trades, so nobody will ever whisper you for one map, they'll whisper you for a minimum of 10 maps for 40 chaos, right? So it's not annoying to sell them, right? Um, and usually people will just buy all, all the stock you have, right? Because cemetery is not where the magic finders got, so they just buy out everything you have. Usually it's a big trade. Um, and yeah, so once you move to yellow maps, things change a little bit, right? Because yellow maps are not that much in demand, um, so it's harder to sell them, right? You can still sell them, but you, you also drop less maps because as you move up the tiers, the map sustain gets harder and harder, especially in red maps, right? Uh, but yeah, okay. So one thing I also do, I will always uh, chisel every map, uh, starting for from white tier maps. Another thing, if you're a map farmer, uh, you generally want to make sure you can handle as much mods as you can. So you so like say you cannot do a certain mod so you don't have to reroll it right um, because rerolling the maps obviously you don't want to lose the maps right um, or not too many of them right uh, another thing is um, what, when I roll my maps I usually roll them all in advance right and I can probably show you I don't know because I don't have much rolled maps now so one thing I will do, I will, once I roll the maps, I did a set of Basilicas, right? And I here I saved on the side all the Beyond maps, right, that rolled. Because you can play that with a Beyond strategy, uh, with a Sextons, unique monsters can have corrupted, and drop corrupted items for Divine Hunting. So when I get about 16 of them, then I usually go and play them out. Uh, but you generally want to save beyonds on the side. I also save unit maps on the side. Unit maps never change mods. So if you crafted the map and it goes unidentified, the mods do not change. So they're all good to run, right? If the map was good crafted before it went unidentified. Right. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's one thing about the maps. Uh, another thing you want to know is don't sleep on horizon orbs, right? They're super good. Like, uh, I just recently horizoned my tier 11, as I'm gonna be moving to red tier maps soon enough. Uh, and as you can see, these are all now good tiers, right? 
I mean, good layouts, right? Bazaar, Cemetery, Crimson, Wharf, right? And, you know, don't... Like, don't sleep with it because... Look, see, Dunes is okay, Dunes is okay, Canyon is okay, but then there was like five Horizon Orbs. That was like one chaos to get three really good layout maps, right? So you can clean up your shit maps, right? If you are like missing maps for a certain tier and just get some good natural natural maps in that tier to uh, farm, right? All right, now let's go to my current farming strategy. Now I do change my farming strategy quite often. But this one I've been running for um, a day or two, and I often have a often it's very similar to this, right? So right now I'm using <clears throat> Harvey and Rusty Expedition Scarabs, Rusted Legion Scarabs, and Polished Bridge. Now, in general, when I run my juice maps, I'm looking mostly for the cheapest scarabs, right? Um, most of these are like one chaos scarab and one chaos per map is really like super low in investment. Uh, expeditions are a bit more expensive though, but I do have a lot of currency now, so I don't really give a crap. And I do like running expedition. Uh, Legion scarabs are also like one chaos, maybe two at most, the polished ones. So again, super, super cheap. And the bridge scarabs are also about one chaos. Right. So my current strategy mostly was about around Legion. Legion is extremely profitable. You get a lot of these pure emblem drops, right? <coughs> that you can easily sell off. Um, and also you also get a lot of incubators. Um, now, in order to use up these incubators, uh, it's definitely good to add as much enemies to the maps. And generally, if you like just maps, obviously you're gonna add as much enemies as you can. So that's why we had Breach, and that's why we had Harvest, right, to kind of help the Legion. So we get about two to 3,000 enemies per map to kill. Now you can easily see how much enemies you kill per map once you put a fresh incubator, right? Uh, because after the map you just check how many kills you have, right? And it'll tell you exactly how many mobs you have uh, in, in a map, right? Um, and then I'm using Expedition Scarab for Expedition stuff, right? I have a bunch of uh, logbooks I need to uh, run out, right? Uh, and also, of course, I'm utilizing the Sentinels. And this is one of the reasons I wanted to farm Legion, because the Pandemonium Sentinel is extremely good to use on the Legion, right? As it will... Um, empower the whole legion especially if you have around 150 to 200 uh, enemies on the panda sentinel and i use the stalker sentinels for the expedition and i generally look that i have uh, increased quantity as that will give you more logbooks or chance for more logbooks <coughs> and uh, when the refresh currency and then i'm looking for at least one reward each type right uh, all right so I'll show you my atlas, right? So basically I take all the legion stuff because that's super valuable to take, um, except this one that adds more chance for a legion encounter, that one is not required. I'm taking all the harbin nodes. They're not really very profitable, but uh, since I'm using a harbin scarab, like why not, right? And it adds more mobs to the map. As far as breach, I'm only taking that it closes, open, uh, it closes faster and opens faster. Um, this is the only good note for Breach, because Breach is really shit to farm. Uh, picking up all those little splinters is extremely annoying, and in fact I've already hidden them on my filter, so... There's really not much, except adding a lot more uh, mobs to your map. Right, and with the new stuff here, where you can close other stuff right in your map, I've closed pretty much everything except uh, Legion, Mirror of Delirium and Contracts. This is just so I get Mirror of Delirium pretty much every other map. Uh, I could also probably close the good contracts too, but right now I have them open. But again, a Delirium Mirror pretty much every other map, or maybe once every three maps or so. <coughs> 
and the rest is just getting as much quant, uh, this circle of quant nodes and more quant nodes in here. And of course I have all the expedition stuff for the expedition farm. So, uh, except, except this one here, but that one is not super good, uh, it's just a bit more artifacts. Uh, yeah, and of course I got scouting reports because I kind of like that um, and they could be quite good value to sell off as well, some of them. Alright, let's just go into the map showcase. Uh, I always also use Fortune the Brave because it adds uh, 10 quant, 10 rarity and 10 pack size. It's super good. To add more mobs to the map, add more quant to the map, add more of everything to the map, right? And perfect, we got a mirror on this one. Should be nice for the showcase. You're not gonna see a whole lot of drops because I'm on uber strict uh, filter. The only thing you need to change if you go uber streak and you're low tier farming is that you still see the map, the low tier maps because it will hide up by default. Alright, Gwen. Take physical immune. Right. So I use my Stalker Sentinel always for the expedition. This is probably the most dangerous thing, so I take it a bit uh, careful. Gotta wait a little bit for the Sentinel to empower them. There we go. Chance, Gwen. As you can see, the um, the bridge adds quite a lot of mobs to the map, which is really nice to um, help you use up your incubators, right? Here we use the Panda for the Legion. So far I feel like Pandemonium Sentinel is the best to use on the Legion. It's just there is always the right amount of enemies. Yeah, and of course, adding as much mobs to the map also helps for the delirium mirror, so you get as much uh, stacks, right? Maybe get some nice reward from the from the mirror.
and of course when you have this many mobs per map getting like lucky drops like a uh, pure exalt dropping is something that happens more often than you would think like normally if you just map without like any juice right you would see an exalt maybe like every 20 30 maps right but when you apply a decent amount of juice it's you know it's a bit more often can fit this uh, there we go This is not like heavy investment, right? The only heavy investment here is the Expedition Scarab at uh, 7 Chaos or 6, whatever it is, right? Uh, but the rest of the Scarabs are all just like 1 Chaos each or something like that. Oh, I also forgot to mention I am using the uh, Extra Legion Encounter. But the Awakened version I buy for usually like 30 40 chaos, which is basically barely like 2 chaos per map for that. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty low investment as well to get an extra Legion encounter every map. Slap, slap. That's it. Let's uh, crack open the delirium. Eh, kind of crap, but a good amount of uh, simulacrum stuff. Alright, let's chuck this in. That's basically it, that's how I run my maps. Uh, at least right now I do have a lot of other low tier strategies that I do. Um, but this is one of them, so there you go. Thank you for watching and uh, you know, goodbye. <laughs>